Hello, hello everybody, this is Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I am back. That's right, I'm gonna be doing some more tour review videos for you guys, because I have missed you all so very, very much. Oh, and I just wanted to keep you updated. I do have a ring on this finger. Well, not officially, it's just an engagement ring for now, but that's coming up next year. But anyway, let's get on to our very first toy video of this year. Oh, I'm so excited to show you guys this. This is the Dippin' Dots Frozen Dot Maker. Oh my gosh, they actually re-released this toy. Now I never got to review the very first Dippin' Dots Maker because I believe it came out before I started my channel. But I hope that this one is just as good as the old one. I mean, look at this little girl. I hope I become as happy as she is when I try my Dippin' Dots. Alrighty, here we go, the unboxing time. Let's see what comes inside the box. First item is our Dippin' Dots stand. It says Dippin' Dots there on the front. Then we have this cute little ball-shaped container that holds all the liquid to make your Dippin' Dots. You turn this little lever on the front to make the liquid come out. Here are three brightly colored discs. These are the mold that'll make your little tiny round Dippin' Dots. They're kind of rubbery. Um, let's see, it should fit just in the machine like this. Here is a little plastic piece that guides all the liquid into the mold at the bottom. I think it just goes right over like this. There is an alternative way to get the liquid into your molds. You can use these little tubes and the liquid goes inside the tube and then you just have to push it through into the mold. I'll show you guys on how to do that later. Ooh, this is nice. They gave us three cute little bowls and spoons. And of course, we can't forget the instructions on how to make your cute little Dippin' Dots. All right, let's get started. Here is what I have in my fridge right now to make some Dippin' Dots, some delicious apple juice. I thought that might be an interesting flavor for my Dippin' Dots. So let's try to put the liquid in this container here first. Ooh, I'm gonna carefully, oh, oh no, I just spilled a little bit. That's okay, that's okay. I think I'm just gonna fill this up maybe halfway. I think that would be enough for my Dippin' Dots mold. I'm not quite sure. Let's put the lid back on here. Make sure that it's tight so it doesn't leak out. And then I think we just have to plop this right over the top. Oh, oh, oh no, oh, oh, oh no. Okay, I have this open. Okay, whew. Okay, I was able to close it. Didn't leak all over the place. Now we just have to turn this lever and let the liquid go right into the mold. <gasps> Look at that, it's filling up so fast. <gasps> oh, no! Oh my gosh, you guys, I have apple juice leaking everywhere. It's all over my table. It's all over my floor. Oh my gosh, that was a serious accident. Okay, I better clean this up, you guys. I will be right back. Okay, I think I have everything cleaned up now. There is a little bit of liquid still in my mold. I'm gonna try this one more time because I think it was maybe my error, not necessarily the machine error. So I'm just gonna put some more apple juice in here and maybe not quite so much this time, and <laughs> just in case it spills again. But I definitely need to fill up this mold because I wanna put it in the freezer as soon as possible. Oh no! I'm still leaking. Okay, I think this is way too full, so I'm just gonna shut this off. Okay, so once your mold is full of liquid or apple juice, like mine is, it's gonna go straight in the freezer and it's gonna be there until it completely freezes. Okay, so since the machine didn't go that well, we're gonna try the alternative way to fill up these molds and that is these little syringe tubes. 
There's a little stopper there at the bottom and then there's a little uh, plug that goes at the top. I do happen to have some delicious chocolate milk, which I think would be amazing as Dippin' Dots. Okay, so we're just gonna fill up our little syringe very carefully. Whoop, okay. Just gonna pop the top on. And now we're ready to use this. The little tube goes in the hole at the top of your mold and you just have to push down on the little button at the top to get all the liquid out inside your mold. So far this seems to be a lot cleaner than using the actual Dippin' Dots machine. Now I did have to fill up the tube about three or four times in order to fill up my mold, but honestly, I feel like this way went way better. I'm gonna pop this one in the freezer too. 24 hours later. All right, everybody, our molds are frozen. So let's see if we got some delicious Dippin' Dots. Oh, I cannot wait to try this. Okay, this is the apple one. Mmm. Oh, I love the texture of these. Oh, this is so good. Okay, let's see if I can get this into my cup. I'm gonna have to break it up quite a bit to actually get it to look like dots. Oh, you guys, I love the way that this turned out. You can break these up, you know, into little tiny dots if you want. But honestly, this is just as good to eat it like it is. Mmm, this is actually a pretty healthy snack. Here's the chocolate one. Oh my gosh, look at all that chocolatey goodness. Okay, I can't stand it. I have to try a piece. Oh my gosh, this is just like chocolate ice cream. It's so good. Okay, well, I am super happy with the result of this. And of course, you can break this up into little tiny pieces so that it looks like the actual Dippin' Dots. <gasps> this was a total success. All right, you guys, I have to say this was a success. We definitely got some Dippin' Dots. And you know what? They are delicious. Mmm, delicious. Okay, well guys, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Bye, thanks for watching.